Go, 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 go. If they get to spam out a couple spells. But we are seeing that harassment add up. Funny tree here is getting very, very low to the trance. Crit in return. Getting run down by Saxa. One more. It's got gonna it. burn out. It's gonna be first blood on the bottom lane just before up top. And also have Nightfall getting taken down by Skeeter and Snaking. Two kills off the battle. Now with reflection and the meta. Going for a kill on the 33, the ice armor. It's offsetting everything. It's, it's giving them that bit of a difference to help survive. And now with this Scorched Earth back up, Saxa. I look to run down Crip. See if they can finish this off. They can. Another round of the Soul Assumption. They, they get the kill. And, oh, Arteezy also dropping very low. Has Brain Drop. Well, even if the Soul Assumption came out, maybe does. He now getting it. Very pressured. Yeah, he's going to be on his on his own for a little bit of time, as you say. Yeah. Whilst Crit tries to make it back to the lane top. He's going to move on to Jerex. He does able to step up with the buff of Snaking. Burrow Strike comes in. Jerex getting the salve going. But it doesn't matter. Still ends up ticking what? out there. Was that... The skeleton hit him from super far. We'll he's dive this low. if he sees him. I'm surprised he's sticking yeah. around. He's standing on the edge of vision, but Nine's going to see him. Arbed, he's, he's going to get taken out. That was Whoa. incredibly greedy there from Arbed, hanging around. When you're in the vicinity, of a void spread, especially when it's nine with a DD, he is not going to hesitate to dive you. And he was pinging like there's a ward or something back there. I think he just thought he was out of vision. I think he, yeah. Assumptions, double stun from Wraith Kings, etc. Really powerful game for that Grim. Six up, Crip. He's trying to play around with Skeeter, but uh, Skeeter, he's, he, he's more than happy to, to play around with Crip. He'll get the kill. This is getting out of hand real fast. I got to be honest, Owen. Boots of Travel already queued up on nine. Yeah, Abed wants to make more moves. Does have to make space first. Does he want to go on the Doom? Nightfall, he's going to commit. He's got the epicenter. They're going to go straight in onto Sack so they'll burst through him. Take down the Doom Arbor. It's got to be careful around the Familiars and Skeeter. They'll turn their attention towards Nightfall. There's the control from 33. Drops down the Familiars. They'll take him out. It's an expensive kill for a four position Doom. Hey, looking to go for more. That was good to travel from nine. Got the setup. Fortification, getting those tower hits out, but it's not enough to hold back Tundra. They'll continue to come. Peter and Saxa on the chase. <laughs> Goodbye, Crit. AG just can't fight. They have to avoid everything until they feel like they're going to be online with their TBR with the storm and tanking set up nicely. Back down bottom. That's our bet. It's a long Let me to help out Jerax. He's got a hood on this visage. Very tight. TPs are coming in. We'll see if they can get over to 33 in time to help him out. But three heroes on top of him. Doesn't matter. Even with the hood, they can burst through it. Jax is going to opt for the TP out. Uh, that means that behind him, both the Storm and Stan King have been caught by the combo of Snake King. They may have got the kill on 33, but it will cost them one of their cores. At least Ooh. if the chase could be there for Nightfall, he's able to break out away from the three of them with a Burrow Strike. But Nine has the chase down. Astral steps in play. Nightfall. He'll try and hide under the cover of the Sandstorm, but they see him. Both cores taken out. This game. Oh, it's the jump. Go for one. See our bed zipping over. They'll focus back over to War Skeeter for now. Of course, Skeeter will have that second life. He's turning. It's going to be Nightfall, the first to go down here. Can they take out Skeeter a second time? RTZ is up there on the high ground with the Metamorphosis. He's kicking out the damage. It's enough to bring the Wraith King down twice. Saxa jumps over in onto our bed. EG, they'll still lose to themselves. They lose two cores, they get the Wraith King, but... ...happen here for EG if RTZ's in position, and, and, and that was actually oh, jumping in. This could be another pickup for EG if they could commit onto the Doom. They can. Another kill's to be found. They won our tour, though. But now here's where RTZ's vulnerable. Nothing to save himself here, of course, as he gets jumped upon by Tundra. So a little bit of a fight, a few for crit. <laughs> Arcane Rune, not bad. He's going to try and... I mean, he's got the backup of... A nightfall. That's good damage, but the BKB is still out in time. Saxa not able to land the Doom. Our bed's out with a zip. BKB for Nightfall. It'll probably do EG their best to just get out of here right now. Nightfall not going to be able to get away from nine. RTC? Another jump in. Nothing to stop him. He will live. He TPs out. Can't even kill Saxa. It's close though. That time we nine. stepping up. Nine knows though. He's nine's like okay. Quick wave coming in top. <laughs> Crit's going to show yeah. any second now, but Crit. He's got the ward. Oh yeah, nine. he could be pretty dead hit. My nine just knows. 
Oh. This should be a pretty free kill for nine. As his team now starts to push bottom. And Tower just drops super fast, so they have the Visage. Hey, with uh, any more of this sort of rap movements that they're trying. Look at Kurt, he TP's in, instantly the Doom. It's not gonna get him. Oh, he, he is! Him. He got him. He got him. But, progress, tier three tower, down to half HP. The building damage, continuing to, to build up massively here, of course, Crip. They're trying to set up on top. This is actually pretty, pretty cool move. They might not expect it. I mean, they, they, with these movements, they are they, splitting Tundra up. Can they burst him? They have to I, line it up perfectly. I think they can. Ice path into the vortex. They they absolutely can. EG. They get the kill on Saxa. Now they'll just look to get out of there. And they'll manage to do so. No sort of... It's immediately committing. It's a bit of a tougher kill. You know, with the Skadi, the SMY, and the BKB, RTZ is now at that point where there's a high chance he, he can stand and take some of these fights. Skeeter. So in onto the two of them. He's going to step forward. They've got the stun control, but now the BKB's out. So RTZ, he'll be ready to turn. Pots the Metamorphosis. They need a bit of control onto Skeeter, but with the BKB up on the Wraith King, Skeeter's able to retreat. Our Nine. BKB's down. He wants to go back in straight away on top of RTZ here with the Ink 12 stun. Can they burst him? Nightfall turns with the Burrow They've got the Vortex pullback. They're controlling Nine. That's the Aegis gone off the Void Spirit. Let's see what he can do here with his second round. He's going for this tanking. He's got the control, but now he doesn't want to commit. Buybacks are coming out. Tundra, they don't want to push it too far. Abed looks to try and get some sort of catch with a big... Sox has got the Doom. There it is. He's straight in. RTZ, he needs help and he needs it now. They're immediately on onto the Terra Blade. Is there any save here for RTZ? There is not. He saved this. This was a good, great play from Soxa. N n identify he doesn't need the Doom for the TB. They have the control coming from this team. It dooms the tanking just so that they can't actually get any type of save onto RTZ. As Abed now trying to address some waves, but will lose the rest of his team. Jarex is gone. Tier 4 is going to drop super quick. Yeah, they've got a... A whole lot of push here, Tundra, when they're able to turn up as the five. Tier four's dropping. Ah, oh, what a game. Yeah, and GG. there we go. GG, Tundra. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll take this game one. Beautiful game, really. They played it to perfection. Uh, Flaner, who's they playing? There's the top. fusion action happening here. Tied against all of these heroes other than Hoodwink. Pretty solid. Okay. Because of the Kraken shell. You can take off all the, you know, massive staking with some... Cool positioning. Love when I well, love when the five positions do this when you do see people pulling. Does have to watch out for being tossed though. They're pinging. I mean, they're, yeah, they're that trying. Has to be careful for this. He's gonna die. Tier two versus like. All right, yeah, he weren't ready for <laughs> that one. He weren't ready for. With the ring of health picked mm -hmm. up. Top. Now making another attempt onto 33. Oh, he just okay. Push back will end up missing. Yeah, this, this should be an easy kill here for EG. They take out 33. The lanes looking. Coming out in that top lane. Yeah, all three lanes. That's oh, much better than another one. It's going to be another one here for EG. Oh, fairy fire. Doesn't matter. RTZ dives in. Taking another kill on. The Break the group up from getting pickoffs on side lanes always. Crit. Continue <laughs> to pull waves. I mean, this one's a little bit weirder. They didn't get the catch on the mid. Oh. All right, Arbed. All right. He was not. Let's see, I'm going to look around those power runes. Arbed will get a good one. Okay. He's got the arcane and he's ready to make moves with it. He's straight in. They've got the avalanche into the blood right. Snaking a nine. Very much dead here. As well, maybe with the pushback, oh. they can turn things. Snaking's still alive. We'll Great get another toss. blast out, but he will still fall. EG get the two quick kills as. Arbed oh, very quick to, to make that movement. And this time back to King can really do to slow down this push. He's got to be careful. I mean, Crit's trying to get in with the toss. Heads there. Heads him back over towards Arbed. They've got the pullback with the Vortex. Arbed is taking a lot of damage. Ooh. He's dead. He is dead indeed. He, they, they get the kill on Snake King. But losing Arbed there will take a lot of damage from the ward. As he used his final few spells to get that kill. Nine. Can't quite finish off the Enchantress, but yeah, I get, I just gotta keep saying it, you know, Pug no more. It's fully scouted though from Hawk, and that is a defusal for nine. So, the Tidehunter has to be very careful right now, Nightfall. Could just get oomed. Now, uh, Jarax. This is a oh. too much burst, but he actually gets pushed. I still get taken out here. Maybe EG can do something in return. They'll get the jump over to nine. There's the Ravage, no holding back for Nightfall. Continues to keep. 
That lockdown going on to nine. The roar is there on to up oh, and the pushback. They're going to be able to chase down probably both of these. It has got the hood. There's going to be enough to get Nightfall out of this. Have a round of the axes and Tundra, the four of them, just running down this tide. They got him. They'll burn him out. They'll even be able to pick up their bounty rune on top of it. It's going to be tough. He showed his face. He has 33 at his side, but again, the control. It's too much. Crit. Well, he's also going to be able to step away in time as RTZ clears out the boars. EG getting these kills, not losing anything themselves. Tundra's not really looking to group up almost at all, it seems like, and they farm. And as we said, this yeah, his matchup is just going to get better and better as game continues. Because what, what, yeah, what, so you get the BKB, then the shard. BKB shard Scotty, or BKB yeah. Scotty shard, depending on... I mean, he has a couple options, honestly, this game. But those, would I would imagine, would be the best. Maybe he wants to throw a Bastion into the mix at some point, too, okay. but... On the mid. Get the grab. Pulls him out of range of the life train, though. But he'll kill himself <laughs> trying to use the heal. Yeah, it was, just, it was sort of stuck in that place. Where, you know, do I die to the burn or die to trying to get the heal off? <laughs> yeah, dead evil way there, Jerax. He chooses the, the ward way out. Nightfall. He's broken. He's going to pop the Ravage. I don't think he's going to be able to walk away from this. Oh, he's not. Maybe he would have... So EG aren't scared to take a fight. I mean, he'll show himself. Go for Nightfall. Tim Nightfall's able to even live long enough to get the Ravage out. They're holding him in position with the Raw. He's you see gone. Arbet jumping on the back lines, but Nightfall, he's out of the fight. Arbet commits him with a BKB onto 33. They bring down the Beastmaster. Nine, looking towards RTZ. It will jump up to the cliff, but RTZ's getting a bit of a cleanup here. Double kill, triple, triple. kill. They can't deal with his Bloodseeker right now. As they've lost four, there's the Aegis taken out of the hands of Nine. He's going to try and jump forward aggressively, in fact, with the swashbuckle. And can Nine and Skeeter still keep this fight going? I don't toss think they back. can. Crits him with a toss. Nine's in underneath the tower and into the reach of RTZ. He'll jump out with the swashbuckle. The disarm. Ugh, can they finish him? He needs one more hit here from Jerax. There it is. Impetus back up. Nine goes down. And indeed, EG not scared at all to take that fight. They're in with the BKBs, and we're absolutely seeing how strong RTZ can be on the Bloodseeker in these sort of fights at this stage. He can zip pretty far. They'll take the Hawk. So now Jarex has one of his own for some vision. And they'll get the kill. There's the Ravage. But already the BKB and the Rolling Thunder were out. They have to control, and RTZ is stuck in the river. RTZ is dead. He's out for 70 seconds. And with their Bloodseeker gone, EG, they don't have a fight to take anymore. They've got to run. Completely Crit goes controlled. down. They played it perfect. I mean, they're now straight into Roche. And Nightfall's still trying to mess with them around the pit. Tundra, another zip forward. Abed really trying to, to challenge this Roshan attempt. Still has the regen. Can go for another one. He's in on the pit. He's committing for He's able he to do it. it. He gets the kill. He gets the Aegis. And he also gets out with a last bit of mana. Abed grabbing back with a, a huge... No, he doesn't have Rolling Thunder. He's feeling strong. RTZ. He's got to be ready to react. And with the shield crash, there's the BKB. We'll try and turn and commit it onto Nine, but the Eon Disc will keep Nine safe. He's off to the side. RTZ now with the remainder of this BKB having to run 33. He's hard. They break the linkers. They've got the roar. They lock down the Bloodseeker. RTZ is still trying to run. The rest of his team will keep the distance for him to back off. Chase, the swashbuckle jump forward with the shard of Skeeter. It's burning nice them horse. down. They've got the stun control on Jerax, but RTZ will live. They're able to get him out of there. Whose force was that? Someone, I, I think RTZ was going to get caught by that bushwhack, but either way, nine. Now the ult. I mean, I've been zipping in on this. It's a three-man vortex. And he's sort of follow up, snaking and sacks up both, getting very low, but nine and 33 off to the oh side. My. Take out Arbed. And two buybacks already coming out from EG. RTZ is trying to run in on this, but his BKB is still on cooldown for 30 seconds. The linkers has been broken. RTZ has got to back off. Big hit coming in with the ultimate from, from Saxon. They'll force Nightfall back up to the high ground. That's a couple of buybacks here coming in from EG. Not able to find any kills. Tundra still stand all five alive. Nine lives, Aeon Disc. EG looking to strike back with their Ravage. The Tundra's all ready. I mean, they are. It's going to be a huge Ravage for Nightfall. He's just not, ooh, can he get the jump in? He's going to sort of just watch. <laughs> Frit die for now. He's waiting for the opportunity, but he's been silent. Look at Skeeter go. They're having to back off. RTZ once again having to put the BKB and TP out, but they've got the roar to stop it. RTZ, he'll go down. As EG, I mean, it really feels what's for, for the last 15 minutes. They just cannot take a fight against Tundra. Tundra. They're starting to get this game into a similar territory as game one, where they're just in full control, and EG just cannot deal with them at this point. On to the next. 
I mean, they, they pretty much have the ideal lineup in terms of sort of damage that you can offer through that. It's just shredding the buildings. There's no sort of protection. Oh, here we go. The Ravage is a big one. And Bybats come in, but immediately the Raw's out onto Arbed. Arbed getting locked down. Another the second one. Raw there with the Refresher. <laughs> Arbed's taken out. Both him and RTZ buying back. EG, this is going to be potentially their last attempt to try and find a fight. A third buyback coming in. They'll catch nine. So if they can get anything more, they need to. EG, they've invested a whole lot into holding this fight. A big zip from Arbed. Not able to get the... His BKB, the whole duration of it, is having kind of just to run away. Yeah. And I mean, they, they've, got, they've got to do this, EG. They invested so much into that defense. They have to go and look for kills. And Sox is there to break it with his little camouflage. And he's going to turn. This is going to be a buyback for nine. Tundra, they know with the buyback used on EG, if they get one of these cores, it's going to be game over. Oh, not easy. BKB is still on cooldown for 12 seconds. He's caught. So They're in with it. the control. That's going to be it. GG, it's cool. As Tundra...